Okay, we're going to test this. The idea is, I'm flying in the basement, there's no GPS signal down here. So if I fly in GPS mode, I'm assuming it's going to automatically switch to Atty mode. Uh, that's the plan. And we can test that first. And then we're going to test what happens if you flip to failsafe without a GPS signal. Is it going to climb 20 meters first or is it just going to land? Um, in this first test, I used the assistance software and changed the failsafe setting instead of to return to home and land, I just set it to land. So that'll be the first test and presumably it'll just land without trying to climb. If it tries to climb 20 meters it's going to hit the ceiling and I will immediately cancel failsafe by switching back to GPS or Addy. So test number one, it is in GPS mode. Transmitter is on. Battery's plugging in. <clears throat> Contact. Switch on. The ignition. I'll let that uh, warm up. Alright, we had the multiple flashing green to say it has memorized its course direction. Forward direction is that way for course lock mode. Double blink, double green blink shows we're in GPS mode, but the controls aren't centered. That's because my throttle is all the way down. I center the throttle. I now have a single green blink to indicate controls are properly centered. The one, two, three red blinks show we have no satellite reception down here, GPS satellite reception in the basement. Therefore, GPS mode is not going to work. The green is showing me I am in GPS mode. If I change to Addy mode, it'll show a yellow blink. Blink there, and three reds for the satellites missing. I can leave it in GPS mode, put the battery in properly now. So we're in GPS mode, but no satellites, and I'm assuming it's going to fly as though it's in Addy mode. That's the way it's supposed to work. Without satellite lock, it uh, GPS mode defaults to Addy mode. So let's just do a little Addy mode test flight. Get the hell out of the way, make sure. So definitely no GPS lock, it won't hover in one spot, it drifts around just like as in Addy mode. So that proves one thing, if there's no GPS satellite lock, even though I'm flying in GPS mode, it has reverted to Addy mode. So now comes the big question. I configured it in Assistant, in the Assistant software for failsafe to uh, landing, not return to home and landing, just simply landing. Um, obviously return to home is not going to work without a proper GPS signal. Um, but uh, I'm going to test that because if I take well, it won't have memorized its home location either. You can't do that without GPS. So I'm assuming if I flip to failsafe it will just land uh, as opposed to try and go up 20 meters first and then land. That's the plan. <laughs> We're going to see that now.
single blank? No. Single green, three red flashes. There, it's memorized. It's forward direction for course purposes, course lock purposes. One, two, three. Red blinks means no satellites. It's in GPS mode, but with no satellites, it's going to default to Addy mode. shut off. So in failsafe mode it just landed. It didn't climb. That was, uh, I was in GPS mode. There's no GPS satellites in the basement here so it defaulted to Addy mode. That's why it's kind of drifting around. But when I clicked to failsafe it hovered for three seconds and then descended and landed. That's because I have it configured that way in the assistant software to just land, not return to home and land. Uh, now I'm going to try it the other way around. Okay. Single green flash means we are in GPS mode with the controls properly centered. And uh, one, two, three red flashes means we have no GPS lock. And that's to be expected because I'm down in the basement. Tuck those cables away. And we're ready to fly. So again, I'm in GPS mode. With, that's shown by the green flash. But because we're in the basement with no GPS signal and getting three red flashes, not insufficient satellites, so the GPS mode defaults to Addy mode. And the Addy mode tends to float around here. So I'm only going to hover very low. And then I'm going to flip to failsafe. And hopefully it's not going to try and climb 20, 20 meters. I'm predicting it'll just land, even though I have it set to go home and land. So here we go. It's really hard to get it to friggin' hover in any mode because of all the turbulence it's causing itself. ceiling in case it does climb in fail safe mode. Right there. Ah, shit. Stay away from the TV. Okay, three, two, one. There's fail safe. Blink, blink, blink in fail safe mode. And I predict it's just going to descend. It's just hovering and not doing anything. Okay, cancel fail safe. Cause... Interesting. Just, it just maintained position. Let's try that again. And okay, fail safe. Three, two, one. There's fail safe. No, it's gonna crash there. Back up. Cancel fail safe. Okay, 
Fail safe. Come on, Bobby, baby. Land already. It's not landing, it's just friggin' hovering. Oh, back away. Oh, that was close. It just hovers. It's not going to land. Interesting. Okay, this is dangerous. Well, apparently, it doesn't land. It just stays hovering. I guess until the battery runs out and it dies. That's not good. I wish I could try this in a bigger space. I might have to do this in the parking garage in my office building instead. That's the plan next. That'll have to wait for another day.